In Bloom House is a hunt, 12 strangers are captured and hunted for sport by what an early synopsis says says are rich, liberal elites. Universal Pictures was set to release the film in theaters next month, but in light of the recent mass shootings and much political turmoil, they have opted to cancel their plans to release the film. Deadline heard that a collective decision was made by Universal leadership, led by Donna Langley, with the Hunt filmmaking team. As the site notes, the news of Universal canceling the hunt comes after putting the brakes on the PIX marketing campaign in the wake of the El Paso, Texas, Dayton, Ohio, and Gilroy, California mass shootings. The studio released the following statement this morning, while Universal Pictures had already paused the marketing campaign for the hunt, after thoughtful consideration, the studio has decided to cancel our plans to release the film. We stand by our filmmakers and will continue to distribute films in partnership with bold and visionary creators, like those associated with this satirical social thriller, but we understand that now is not the right time to release this film. While plans have been cancelled, the site does know that it could come back at a later date for a theatrical release, or it could go to streaming once Comcast launches its service. The hunt follows 12 red state strangers who wake up in a clearing and realize that they're being hunted by liberals. Betty Gilpin and Oscar winner Hilary Swank play women on opposite sides of the political spectrum, conservative and liberal, who are targeting each other. Craig Zobel directed the movie which was written by Nick Cuse and Damon Lindelof.